Growing numbers of senior doctors are quitting the NHS or are not working additional shifts after being hit with more than £8 million in pension charges for working extra hours, new figures show. Medics have been warning for more than a year they would cut back on workloads because of the complex pension rules, and now figures show that NHS Dumfries and Galloway, NHS Fife, NHS Lanarkshire and NHS Tayside are among the boards that have seen increasing numbers of consultants retire. NHS Orkney and NHS Shetland, meanwhile, have both seen a sharp decline in the amount of overtime their senior doctors are working since the rules came into force in 2016. Boards do not record the reasons for these changes and not every consultant retiring from service will be doing so because they are disproportionately affected by rules designed to stop higher earners benefiting from pensions-based tax breaks. However, Graham Yunson, chair of the British Medical Association's Scottish Consultants Committee, said that after being hit with large, unexpected tax bills growing numbers of senior doctors are taking the sensible option of limiting the amount of work they are doing or refusing to take on extra responsibilities. The issue has occurred because of the complex way the legislation, which was introduced by former Chancellor George Osborne, operates. Everyone is allowed to save £40,000 tax-free into their pension each year. But because of the way tax relief works the government effectively pays £41 in £100 into the pensions of higher rate taxpayers but just £21 in £100 into those of Scottish intermediate rate taxpayers. Osborne's solution for this anomaly was to limit the level of savings higher earners can claim tax relief on, with the so-called taper annual allowance being introduced in 2016. That sees the amount that can be saved tax-free reduced from £40,000 to £10,000 for those earning over £110,000. The problem senior doctors have faced is that working extra shifts to help clear waiting list backlogs has resulted in them inadvertently breaching that earnings threshold, and that has resulted in them having to pay a charge to the Treasury. Due to the complex way those charges are calculated, many have had to pay out more than they have received in additional pay, with one consultant triggering a £9,000 charge by earning just £2,000 in overtime. Keith Brooks, a financial planner at advisory business Aberdeen Considine, said that while the annual allowance was initially introduced in 2006 as part of the Labour government's so-called pension simplification measures, that is the biggest oxymoron in history. He said, the rules have got increasingly complex as things have evolved and, because of the taper, are now a complete disaster. There's no way a late person could understand how they operate and if they don't you for more on this story, visit the news article link.